Hi guys, it's Max here and today I want to show you how to make proper bandages and props around certain asset, like in this case, this arm. I'm gonna use a couple of modifiers and a couple of add-ons and uh, it's a pretty fast way to uh, nowadays to put meshes and props around a certain target. So to make this uh, I spent a couple of hours including modeling the base pattern here. So um, let's go. So here I have my arm. Uh, the technique I'm gonna use is really simple. Uh, first off add the cylinder. Keep it with the, the current sub subdivision. And uh, we're gonna use the shrink wrap modifier. By default, most of the people I think gonna make the cylinder like this. Maybe put some more subdivision, like four, and shrink wrap and select the mesh here. That of course won't select because I made it unselectable. So, and this is the result. And this is really ugly. We cannot use this. Um, the proper way to use the, the shrink wrap modifier is to scale down the, obje the objects inside the target mesh. Okay. But it doesn't work, as you can see. The proper way to make it work is to move from this option to project. And here we go. It's pretty simple. The mesh must stay inside the target. If you pop out, you see, doesn't work really good. Really good. So keep it inside. And um, that's pretty much done. You can make a copy. You can stretch, you can scale, you can do what you want. It's pretty cool. I used it a lot. There you go. So Another thing we can do is to add a um, solidify modifier. So let's say and copy the same modifier to the other objects. Tweak the values to have some more decent effect. Or in this offset or in the or in the offset of the shrink wrap or in the solidify modifier. We can maybe also add the bevel angle. That bevel is pretty cool because it works with angle, so we can put 45. We can make it really tight and have a thick bandage here. So. And it's cool because the original mesh is still inside, you know. So another thing we can do is to 
play with the um, displace modifier. Here we go. The displace modifier should be the second one. So displace up, up, and there we go. And it should be like really really low value like this and paint vertex loop to add the effect only on certain areas like here for example To get a more realistic effect. It's really cool, huh? The cool thing is that we still have the original mesh inside, of course. So we can do the same on the other parts. your bandages are pretty much done so you can tweak what you want you can tweak the thickness the bevel the whatever you want basically you can even change of course the original mesh add some I don't know details like this you see this effect here is because the beaver after 30 degrees, uh, 45 degrees. Okay. I oh, know I did it here. It's okay. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Ah, okay. Yeah. The subdivision, subsurface modifier was off. Okay. So, yeah. Cool effects, right? So, another thing is um, <clears throat> to add a complex prop uh, as a bandage, as a bracelet, something like that. Something that fit the shape uh, of the arm, in this case. So, uh, we're gonna do the same thing. Just make a copy of this one, for example. And... Um, Make it like this, minus 90 degrees. There we go. And put it here. And delete the displacement. They solidify the bevel and the subsurface. And we're gonna keep this. Okay. So um, apply this one and apply also the shrink wrap modifier. And then we have this. We're gonna unwrap the seam, unwrap, and make it sure make sure that uh, this is straight. The even map gonna be straight. I use this add-on. Uh, it's called quad. Okay, quad unwrap. So really helpful. Okay. And then we, we have to cut here where the seam are. So with B. And now we have a physical cut. Okay. Now I'm going to use a super powerful add on recently released from uh, who is the guy? Rich Colborn. Amazing. And um, basically. It's gonna convert the UV tools here in the extending tool. I'm gonna convert the, um, I said this mesh, this cylinder, in um, a flat shape, like as you see in the UV here. So 
make sure that you activate this one so you're gonna keep this shape and click once and then go in the shape keys and check it and it works amazing okay so be sure that your value here is one and then um, let's fit the surface with something cool like um, for example I don't know what do you do, do you, we are here uh, here we go okay Let's snap. And then make it an array. Minus one by key. And let's scale it and snap. Okay, so apply. No, work. Make sure to merge the first and the last. Okay, does it work? Yeah, and apply it. Okay, so now click the last mesh we have. Okay this one uh, I have some sharp let's delete it okay this mesh with the bandage mesh and on the extended tool press on bind to surface and then sheen scene update here okay Let's check it. Wow, this is amazing, really. Ah, guys, this is a super cool feature. Thank you to this guy. I was waiting this feature for years, literally. So, um, Yeah, it's pretty pretty much like this. So if you we want to to fix a little bit more the original deformation of the mesh, I guess we can. We can update this. Um, like delete this and this and let's move it like here okay and bind the surface and put it at zero and there we go boom perfect it's amazing seriously i'm i'm moved really uh, the only thing is that of course here we have to fix manually because because uh, yeah there is a physical seam here so so what we're gonna do is when we're happy we just maybe make a copy of this another layer and uh, I'll take this one and delete this and this and then physically match Yeah, it's boring, but it's better than uh, place this shape manually around the arm, right? So, okay, it's pretty much that's it. Very cool. Thank you for watching. See you soon.